Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So I did a live the other day about modern women and herpes and how there's this movement to destigmatize herpes and try and shame any man who says that they wouldn't be with a woman who has herpes, right? Guys, <laughs> yeah, we're in clown world, guys. We really, really, really are. Well, guys, there's another group of people online that are claiming that they can cure herpes. Now, all of us over here know that herpes is incurable. It's the gift that keeps on giving, guys, so you need to run. You need to protect yourself, all right? But if you go to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, there's all these quote-unquote gurus and herbalists and doctors and preachers and all these people that claim that they can make an herbal mixture or some miracle cure or some type of prayer that'll pray or, or, or fix the herpes. And guys, it's just not possible. So I'm I'm gonna show you an example of these knuckleheads, right, you guys? But before I do, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment, because it really helps to keep this channel going, and I really appreciate all of your support. So, all right, guys, let's just jump into this first one. And guys, they're they're either the, the herbal type. Like it said they're either selling some, some something. They're the herbal type, or there's some new age crystals manifesting type so let's just check this one out first hello love how are you we get asked this question almost every day and so i want to let you know that it's not just one herb okay so i want to make sure i dispel that myth um golden seal is very effective so effective that we use it as a base herb in our proprietary blend that we have that helps to treat HSV, also known as herpes. We have um, a blend you can find it on our site, Apothetote. Because of course she has a website. Of course she's selling stuff, right? Dot com that helps with herpes one, two, as well as herpes zoster. So there's not just one herb. Um, there is a collection of herbs that have antifungal, um, antiviral properties as well as anti-inflammatory that help to um, treat that particular disease. Okay. There's also though some homework done on someone's part that is really important to eat foods that are rich in lysine and stay away from foods that are rich in arginine because that's counterproductive, right? And will actually exacerbate the situation. So I hope that helps you love and thank you for your question. Okay. But remember, it ain't cute to be sick. Bye for now. Burned, but not broken. I want to share with you my story. Um, I uh, was an innocent girl um, and grew up in London, uh, lived there until I was eight years old. Um, I was vibrant. I was um, fun loving uh, and I loved to sing. I loved to dance. My light dimmed when I uh, was uh, touched inappropriately and asked to uh, perform sexual acts. Um, it also awakened um, curiosity for intimacy that I shouldn't have. Um, and as a result, I had a fascination for, um, for sex before it was time. Um, I had my first partner at 15 years old. I had no idea that that partner had genital herpes and HPV. And as a result, I... So she got the old one-two punch, guys. She got HPV and herpes. Man, oh man, oh man. That's the one-two knockout combo right there, right there. Suffered for years. I was in pain. I had outbreaks. It was, it was a nasty, awful time um, from the age of 16 until 21. I um, was really sought after by the Lord. He never gave up on me, even though mm. I had betrayed. There you go, guys. And this is the next type. We have the herbal types, and then we have the, the pray it away types. <laughs> no, guys, I, I, I'm not religious, but if you are, hey, more power to you. But guys, you have to understand science too, man. You can't pray away herpes. <laughs> Let's see what else she says. Trade him in fornicating, which means having sex before marriage. Um, as, uh, as we all know, the Lord is faithful and he is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. And 
I declared healing over myself. I started getting serious about the word. And can I tell you a scripture? The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. And I can tell you that for a year, I continued to suffer, but I sought after the God's word. I spoke and translated his scriptures from those statements to I am healed, I am redeemed. And I was able to see a vision from the Holy Spirit an inspiration of me actually already healed. So I received that and it was mine. I was convinced that I was a healed woman from genital herpes and HPV. I went, took a bold step of faith and went to the doctor to get lab work done. 10 years later, I am healed and I'm gonna show you proof. This is herpes one and herpes two. Negative point nine zero means negative. Now, guys, how many of you actually believe that? How many of you don't think that she just downloaded some template and made a PDF out of it or something? I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> There's actually people out there who believe this. And guys, if, if you guys want to take a chance and go smash, <laughs> hey, have at it, guys. But uh-uh, none for me, thanks. Questions like this keep me on my toes, right? So what is herpes? Herpes is a topical skin virus, right? So what happens when you have herpes? The blood is not strong enough to close up the skin when it rushes to the infected area. But with something like colloidal silver, that fungus or bacteria is not going to be able to live. So once the colloidal silver lands on it, yes, it's going to shut that sore. It works for MRSA. It works for Staphylococcus. It works for in pedigo infantago. Yeah, it's going to shut it up. And then when you take some black seed and you get that all in your bloodstream and you get your bloodstream cleaned out, yeah, you can detox your body from anything. So like I said, Anything that get in your body, I don't care if it's age, herpes, sickle cell, leukemia, uh, what's that, hepatitis, it can get out. She just said that you can detox your body from sickle cell, <laughs> hepatitis. She said that that silver can, can fix uh, MRSA. <laughs> Guys, I'm not making this up. I like I, I didn't I didn't make this up. This is real. Guys, this is the last one we're gonna see. I'm gonna cut it, cut the sound because they have some cargo copyrighted music on here. But this is the same, you know, it's a miracle. I prayed, blah 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 blah. Let's just see what she says. And of course, I have entered twenty twenty two with no herpes virus in my blood. Praise God. Look at that. I got a tattoo that said God heal me in Arabic. This is this realization. What? God said one randomly, stop taking medication. I will show you how to heal. I continued to face adversity, but I knew that if I manifested a different life and it worked, I would attract to it. <laughs> I decided I was manifestation and just started the journey becoming my manifestation. So guys, this is what's out there. You guys, there are women that honestly believe this. They honestly believe that they can manifest, take herbs, pray, and that their herpes is going to go away. Guys, please be careful. You got to be careful. Wrap it up every single time. This is not, not a game, guys. All right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I'm out of here.